All right. This is another new fan that I got. Well, it's yesterday. I was going to say today, but I got it. It's past midnight. This is a fan that I got from Mark Wilson. This is a Hampton Bay Carriage House 2 ceiling fan. This is the third fan I'm reviewing to you guys. There's one more, and I'm pretty excited to review that one, but this one I really do like a lot. The finish is really, I really absolutely love the finish on this fan. It's a natural iron finish. Some people get it confused with oil or bronze. It does look similar, but it's actually a little bit different. Now all I need is um a oil from bronze on Glendale, and I'll have bronze and iron finishes of those the white and polished brass one. But um yeah, I really do like this fan a lot. It's very unique looking. Um, the way the blades are actually the way that Mark gave them to me, so I'm just leaving it like that. Although I will show up the other blade finish right after. I forget what they called out. My phone's not right next to me right now, so I'll, um, yeah, I know that's signed to Rosewood, so, yeah. Now, this fan is actually older than mine. Mine was bought in 2008, but the motor was made in 2005, and, um, this one's made was made in two thousand four. The motor was, but this fan, this exact f version of the carriage house two when this finish came out in two thousand five. So I find out I find that to be a bit strange. Although the motor was made in November of two thousand four, so I can see this, they probably made it ahead of time. Well, I mean, it's just a motor, so they probably just placed it with whatever fan. Now the metal parts on this fan seem do seem to be a bit more solid than the. Polished brass one, so I'm guessing the motor on the other one is what is a powerful one. It's like it's an old, cause it's an older mo motor from him to Bay before they went downhill. Then they already more downhill than they already are were, but um, well cheap. They basically made them even cheaper around over 2008. So um, the metal parts in this fin do seem a bit more solid. I believe, so I am glad about that. I really love the blades and blade arms on this fan. I think the fan is absolutely gorgeous. And here's the other side of the blades. You can choose which side you like better, but I absolutely think it works better with the rose on blades. This gives it more contrast. But, um, yeah. Just didn't come with any pull chains, but that's not a big deal. Plus, I know pull chains that would actually look pretty good on this fan that are not Hampton Bay ones. And it does have like a smooth feel to it, but also like texture to it, so I do like that a lot. It's not just like some smooth feel that looks art. It actually has like some of a texture to it. But yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous fan. Um, Mark got it for like five bucks at Habitat. I don't know if I mentioned that already. But, um, he's had it for a while, like since January or I think in December he got it. He got it. I know Brandon messaged me on Facebook. I asked him. He said he went to Habitat. I said, "Oh, what fans he had to today?" He said, "Oh, there was nothing except this." But um, his fan was actually in the back area, so it wasn't for sale yet. And then Mark went later on and he got it for five bucks. I actually didn't expect him to get it, but I think he just got it just so it was cheap enough. Same reason why with the um, home trends fan, so yeah. And this fan I got for him, so I'm gonna be getting a brown KDK for him in exchange for this and a and a few other fans. I don't know how many other ones, but um, yeah. There was another fan that he was gonna bring today actually, but um, he doesn't know where it is. He well, it was not the fan cave. I think it's still at his um parents' basement. That's why he didn't bring it. And this one you guys are going to love, the other one that he didn't bring with me to, um, so, um, yeah, it's, it is a new box, it is a Hampton Bay fan, that's a, it is from the 90s, and that's as much as I'm going to say. But, um, he's had it since I met him for a while now, he's actually had it since last year. But, um, yeah, I am encouraging him to do a video of it before he sells it to me, I really do want to see it in action. Also, I only like, because I will, he did do a video of this fan, so I can... So I will be able to post a link of it right in the description below. So um yeah, but I I'm I really do like that this fan actually has the regular size sockets, and not the tiny ones like the polished brass one that I have. 
use this. So yeah, this is definitely like right before when Hampton Wade was still an average, an okay brand. And now just a lot of the fans are just complete garbage. But yeah, this one definitely isn't, isn't as flimsy as mine. Well, as the other one, it does seem a bit more solid. But um, yeah. Um, I really do like this finish. I, at first, when this fan came out and this finish, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. I like, I felt like it was over, like it was overshadowing the um, polished brass one. But I can, then I started to like see how nice it looked, and I really liked it. Now, this is my second carriage house too. I do plan to get one in white and brass and brush nickel. So, um, whenever one falls, I I see you next, or if Brandon or Mark find one. I doubt Brandon will get one, but if Mark finds one, find one, finds one that's cheap enough, I'm pretty sure I'll get it from him. So, um, yeah. Now, I will test this fan tomorrow. This video might go up late, but um, it's midnight, so... Yeah, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible, this video. Try to get it up before the morning. But um, tomorrow, well, today, basically, I will have this video, or the fan testing. I will show it with the other side. I think I already showed it, but in case I didn't, this is the other finish of this fan. I actually like it with this finish as well, but I don't know. I, I like it, but I think this looks more unique on it. I think it makes it look more unique, because that's just my opinion. This gives it more color. Does it make it look... This may, I feel like the other finish just makes it look too dull, and that's just my opinion. But, um, but, um yeah, it's hand to make characters to a nat natural iron finish. I'm just glad I got it for such for free. Um, I would have, I didn't, I wouldn't mind paying like twenty five bucks for them because I know they're not a bad fan for him to make, so I wouldn't mind spending that much on it. But um, yeah. Now I'll just get the brush nickel and the white and brass one. Then the two original carriage houses in white and brass and polished brass. So yeah. And also here are the white shades. I know there was another fan of him today that used little shades on the Huntington Three. There was a finish. I forget what it's called. I think it's like golden bronze, something like that. I don't remember what it was called. It was only sold for like a few years, like two thousand four up until like oh six, I think, or oh seven. Wasn't around for that many years, but same thing with the gilded mahogany one, which is my probably my favorite finish for the Huntington Three because it's really nice. But um, yeah, here's a carriage house, my second carriage house two ceiling fan, and I'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.